Get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted, as he's shown on a number of occasions. A fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not going to out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not going to out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Nate Diaz, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones set to fight Nate Diaz. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the new corner, presenting the challenger, Nick Diaz. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our referee right, for this right. one. Right. Good. So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history. Another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Nice mix of knockouts and submissions. Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the off. Oh, Early connection with the left for the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but he's going to get in. That guillotine choke is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You got to get your hips into your opponent if you want him to attack. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. It's, oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Diaz is in half court. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Great submission defense. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Diaz. Making all these shots count. Oh, 
great shot from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. He's trying to recover full guard there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He passes to half guard. Good work from the top here by Jones. That was a slick transition. Drops down inside the now. Oh, watch guillotine here. Yep, that guillotine's deep. Get yourself in position. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. He's got to get the guard off. Try to find a submission. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, nice elbow. Round two is next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the fight. start of round two. Ready. John Jones versus Nate Diaz. Stiff jab there from John Jones using his length to great effect. 84 inches, the reach from John Jones. That's going to give him an advantage against most light heavyweights, if not heavyweights, on this UFC roster. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. Jones goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Beautiful jab lands. Oh, nice. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. And the accuracy rate 57% above the UFC average. That's been a big story of this fight tonight against John Jones. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Diaz is right back to the full mount here. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Grounded pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Diaz. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Diaz is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Doing a really good job putting himself in position. 
All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts. And that's oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. Oh, oh saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Not there. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. might say not today not today great job of following with the hips keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard now drops inside that closed guard dc full guard let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side when he goes to finish look he's got it locked when he goes to finish he has to finish good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Good fight here, under two to go. Oh, and there is his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice right hand. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a gun... Oh! Jones gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice. Nice takedown. He's got to be careful here. Nice sub attempt. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. forward and off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Final seconds of round three. Jones' cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10-8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total Dominance almost got the finish, was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, 
right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strap around their waist. It's amazing. Nice kick. Position now, we'll see how he chooses to proceed. Side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Diaz is back to the north south position now. Diaz trying to scramble back to his feet. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Looking to land the right just out of range. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight up. Oh! He's hurt bad. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Let's work, guys. Come on. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice right hand by the chair. Yeah. Ooh, big shot land. Jones' eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh, good defense here to stay up right after that single leg takedown offering. Oh, and he locks up the triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feeding the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Jones is in half guard. Buzzer oh, sounds oh, oh. for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, blocked the shot there and delivers the straight counter. That strike blocked by Johnny Bone. Big body kick lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Diaz's eye is starting to swell shut. Just missed with the elbow there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. 
Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Oh, a huge block there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Very nice leg kick there by Johnny Bone. Able to land there with the straight left. Jones got touched there, another straight punch. Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke, he's locked in. So inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he can't get it here. Again, good awareness by the defensive fighter. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Diaz is back in the full guard. So the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight. And we are all proud to call him the new UFC champion. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Nate. When he has been active, he has been dominant, and Nate Diaz got it done in a big way here tonight, DC. I know you're pretty impressed here sitting octagon side.